Okay, so let's assume that when we were checking if the account exists or not over here, if this returns false, account exists return false from on player connected server event, then we need to obviously do the registration instead of login. Now, how to do that? First of all, we obviously need the SQL package. So data MySQL client. There we go. Next, we are going to use a synchronous function. So a sync. Lastly, now we will actually insert a data into our table. So again, string query. Oh, uh -huh, Q U E R Y is equals to formatted string. Over here, we will write insert into table name which is accounts and then over here we will write uh, the column name which we need to pass it to so I just need only one player name because the rest is the rest has the default value of either 0 1 or the position the only thing that we don't have is the player name and the password so what we will do is player name comma password and then values we will add placeholder now again we need to create an SQL command object so mysql command command is equals to new the first parameter as we know is the query so query and the second one is the connection so I'll just add the connection now that we have created the object, we need to replace the placeholders with the value. So command dot parameters dot add with value. The first one obviously being the placeholder player name. The second one being the value with which we need to replace it with. So player dot name. I'll just copy this for the same uh, for the sake of password and there we go now what we need is we do not need a reader function but instead we need uh, need a non execute non query function so for that we will create the object first so var write is equals to command dot actually it's not var it's int row command dot execute non query async oh wait how can i forget still missing something intro oh wait what am i missing give me one second okay since this is not a disposable method it needs to be disposable we will just use try and catch so try catch and we will do an exception ex and main dot log server we will change exception exception to a two string inside try we are going to do int rows this will save the number of rows it has inserted and await command dot execute non query async that is it that is all you need but we will just add one more thing main dot log server format this and we will do rows has been inserted player name player dot name there we go i forgot a semicolon somewhere over here and this is how you register new data into the table and if you want to get all the values from the database this is how you do it now i will demonstrate this to you